story. We're now joined by Stephanie Fick from the organization Undoing Tax Abuse. And Stephanie, a very good evening to you. Thank you so much for your time. I mean, the allegations of soliciting bribes during her tenure as defense minister, sums of cash being transferred from businesswoman Nomba Sanzondwa Ndlovu. How serious, Stephanie, are these allegations tabled against the speaker? I think it's quite serious. Um, if you if you just think about the amounts involved, the fact that it is corruption. I mean, we are battling this illness, um, and it really has an enormous impact on on each and every South African. So it is quite serious. Um, um, and and then if you take into consideration that the NPA, NPA has now raided, if you look at that process of applying for a warrant, you know, a, a judge must give you. Um, permission to go and, 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 and do the search and seizure or a magistrate. Um, and that just shows you that this is definitely not frivolous um, allegations. So to come back to the question, I think it's quite serious. Yeah. And speaking about that particular raid today, I mean, how do you then view the timing and significance of this raid, particularly in the context of anti-corruption efforts in the country? Yeah, one wonders why, you know, they've waited until 2024. I mean, this was, um, these allegations come from her tenure as Minister of Defence, which is, you know, quite a few years ago. So one again has to question, you know, the speed with which these type of allegations are being conducted. Um, and now we are here in, in 2024, a few months before an election year. Now, one can't say that these things must stop because of an election year. One just questions why this is taking so long. I, I think we've been complaining about just if you think about state capture and, and all of that, how many prosecutions have followed, and you do get the impression that somewhere along the line, people are getting um, uh, you know protection from from um, prosecutions, etc. But uh, you know, it's always good to celebrate some of the the the, the good work that law enforcement is doing. So hopefully, you know, we will hear further. But it is a tragedy that it has taken um, this long.